Hello and welcome back to the Fast Forward Sailing YouTube channel. It's been a while since I last made a video, but when I saw this email land on my inbox, I thought I need to make a video about this. So, breaking news, we have a new Sail GP team. Switzerland have put together a Sail GP team, and in this video we're going to look at all the details we have on them so far. So Team Switzerland are the ninth team to join CLGP and they will begin racing at the start of Season 3, so not for a little while yet. They'll be led by two-time Olympian Sebastian Schneider, hopefully that's how you pronounce that. So far only three athletes have been named as well as a coach, uh, the crew is set to grow rapidly over the coming weeks. And this is a digital representation of how the Swiss F50 will look. They'll be sponsored by London Energy. I can't say I've heard of that brand before, so I don't know whether they're new to sailing. If you know, let me know in the comments. So we haven't got much more information from that yet, although SailGP have already added the Swiss team to its list of teams on its website. So if we click here, we can see the Swiss SailGP F50. Interestingly, it mentions they're a young and ambitious team, which is different to a lot of the other Cell GP teams who tend to have an older demographic. The team will be under the management of Tungay Karu, who is well known for delivering high performance cell racing campaigns. So we just got three team members here. We've got the helm, or in Cell GP words, the driver, in Sebastian Snyder. This is Sebastian Snyder's Wikipedia page. So he's 25 years old, going on 26. So certainly one of the youngest helms, if not the youngest helm out there. He finished 13th in the 49er in the 2016 Olympics. And his Wikipedia page hadn't been updated to include his result in Tokyo, where he finished 14th. So he's certainly not another Tom Slingsby Peter Burling. But to be finishing with pretty solid results in this fleet means he's no slouch. So what I'm predicting here is another team a bit like CLGP Denmark. They can sometimes surprise us and get up there but they haven't quite got that cutting edge ability to win events or at least win them consistently. I might be proved wrong, but that's my best guess. So we've also got a tactician and grinder in Nils Thunik, probably pronounced that wrong too, and we've got Arthur Kivi as grinder. So these are all Swiss sailors, and I expect over the next, uh, next few weeks we'll see this team flesh out. It'll be interesting to see whether there's any big names that come on board, that could make the difference for this team. Otherwise, I don't really see that much point in having another team. What I would have been hoping for was another team that doesn't just flesh out the fleet, but could really have a shot at challenging. I think a lot of people were expecting Italy maybe to be the next LGP team. No news on that at this stage, but that might still happen. The thing about Italy is with that America's Cup experience, they could be a serious challenger for this LGP title. I'd be interested in hearing if you've heard of any other teams who might be joining CLGP or countries you'd like to see get involved. So before we finish the video, I'm just going to run you through this article, which is one of the only articles that we have about the new Switzerland CLGP team. So here it says the Swiss team will carry the colours of its partner London Energy around the world during the next three years. So it looks like we've got a three year deal here, which I think is probably a minimum if we're to see the Swiss team challenge for the trophy. So Helm Snyder says, this is a major new chapter for Swiss sailing. Our goal is to create a competitive team with the best Swiss sailors. We have to learn at first, but our aim is to sail at the front and compete with the best. Season 3 will begin in May 2022, and that's when the Swiss team will first get involved. CLGP CEO Russell Coote says, We are pleased to welcome Sebastian and the Swiss team to CLGP, a new expansion of the franchise for the league. And interestingly, he says here that this is a really exciting moment for CLGP as it takes us another step closer to grow the league to 10 teams and 12 events. So it looks like that's a target for Coots to get those 10 teams. So it's going to get even more crowded out on the race course. And that suggests we might be looking at another announcement for another new team around the corner. Going on, the article reads, The Swiss Cell GP team has been born from Team Tilt, which is, which is a structure founded in 2012 that provides support for young Swiss sailors, hence the young team. Amongst Team Tilt's achievements, they finished second in the GC32 Racing Tour in 2016. So that's all the key info we have so far on the new Swiss Cell GP team. If you'd asked me last week to predict the next CLGP team, I may well have predicted the Swiss, and I would have guessed that Ernesto Bertarelli would have been behind it. Bertarelli, for those of you who don't know, was behind the Swiss America's Cup team in the 2000s, who won the Cup twice. But I think there's a bit of bad blood between 
Bertarelli and Russell Coots. So perhaps he just doesn't want to join in with an outfit run by Coots. There's also the possibility he's saving his money for a coming America's Cup challenge. If that's the case, that would be really exciting. So I'm going to leave the video there. If you have any info which I haven't mentioned in the video, let us know. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try and put out more consistent videos over the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Press the subscribe button and the alerts bell if you don't want to miss them. And I'll see you in the next video.